Do you ever think about how DC motors work? In this video I will show you the engineering behind the DC motor and how DC motors work. Let's start the video. Welcome to Star Technology 5G. What is a DC motor? A direct current, or DC motor, is a type of electric machine that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. DC motors take electrical power through direct current and convert this energy into mechanical rotation. How do DC motors work? A simple DC motor consists of two parts, one is called a stator. The stator consists of two permanent magnets, one is called the north side and the other is called the south side. The second part of the motor is called a rotor. Rotor consists of a set of coils. When the DC battery is connected to the coil, the current flows through a coil, making it a current carrying conductor. It generates a magnetic field around the coil. This magnetic field forces the coils to rotate due to an external magnetic field. Because we all know the same magnetic poles repel each other and opposite magnetic poles attract each other. This force develops a torque, causing the coil to rotate. The simplest DC motor has just a single coil. The problem in this DC motor is that they can align magnetically, which jams the motor and stops it from rotating. To solve this problem, we have to add more coils. The more sets of coils we have, the smoother the rotation will be, this is especially useful for low speed applications. When we look at a DC motor, we first see the metal case, which forms the stator. At one end we can attach gear. If we remove this gear, this tip is called a shaft. On the other side, we have two terminals. Where we can connect a power supply. If we remove the casing of the motor, we can see there are two permanent magnets. One magnet is called the North Pole, and the other is called the South Pole. This is a spacer. The purpose of this spacer is to keep separate the magnet poles. If we remove these two magnets, inside there is the rotor of the motor. This is a plastic cap with two terminals. These terminals are attached with arms. And arms are attached with brushes. The purpose of the brushes is to provide electrical supply to the commutator. This is a commutator, this is commonly constructed of copper. This commutator ring is split into three segments. Segment 1. Segment 2. And Segment 3. The armature of the motor consists of three coils. Coil 1. Coil 2. Coil 3. These coils are attached to the segments of the commutator. This is the armature of the motor. And normally we called it the rotor of the motor. The shaft is attached to the armature. Typically, armatures consist of a core made of a thin, laminated metal sheet. This metal sheet is cut into three segments in a T-shaped character. Each segment is 120 degrees far from the previous. These laminated metal sheets are stacked together to form the armature's body. Each sheet is electrically insulated from one another with a lacquer coating. This construction allows for the creation of a magnetic field essential for the motor's operation. Now you might think about why we are not using the solid armature body instead of separate laminated sheets. If the armature was a solid piece of metal, large eddy currents would swirl around inside. These are caused by induced electromotive force, or EMF. These eddy currents affect the efficiency of the motor. To reduce these, engineers segment the rotor into insulated sheets, the eddy currents will still flow, but they will be much smaller. The thinner the sheets, the smaller the eddy current will be. The shaft is attached to the armature. The armature has a set of armature windings. These windings are wound on the segment of the armature. These windings are attached to the segments of the commutator. The commutator consists of small copper plates which are mounted to the shaft. Each plate is electrically isolated from one another as well as the shaft. 
The end of each coil is connected to a different commutator plate. In this design each commutator plate is connected with two coils. When brushes rub against the commutator plates, these plates deliver electricity to the coils to complete the circuit. If we connect the battery to the DC motor, electricity can then flow through a terminal, through the arm, into the brush, through a commutator segment, into a coil, then out to another commutator segment, into the opposite brush and arm, and back to the other terminal. This generates a magnetic flux into the coils. This magnetic flux forces the coils to rotate due to an external magnetic field. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to Star Technology. Please like and share the video.